channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video is going to be all about maintaining platinum or super blonde hair. How to keep it like super icy and healthy and shiny, kind of like how I've worked so hard to keep mine. I think a lot of my clients especially, and maybe for those of you out there, sometimes don't realize what being platinum or blonde entails. It is one of the most expensive services to get. It's also one of the most expensive to upkeep. So I think a lot of people love the colors, but they don't realize what they're in for when they're signing up for it. For, uh, for those of us who absolutely love being blonde, I know for me, I'm like, I don't care what it costs. I don't care how much I have to spend in products. Just make me blonde. That's what I want to be. For those of you who are like me and also want to be super blonde and don't care what it takes, let's just get into it. So we know being blonde is super high maintenance and a lot of work and all of these things, but sometimes we don't understand just what we're getting ourselves into. You can definitely go blonde, but if you're not using the right products, your hair won't last and it won't feel good and it'll be damaged and dry and breaking off and you know who who wants that especially after spending all that money you don't want to go home and be using just any kind of generic products and wondering why it's not lasting as great as it should first and foremost what you're going to do after becoming blonde is you are going to use your Olaplex number three so this starts off by before you get in the shower you will I like to spray a water bottle and just kind of like dampen my hair a little bit and then I put Olaplex 3 on and this is just a repair and strengthen. It's not a mask. I think a lot of people get it confused that it is but it is not. It just goes in. It's kind of like a bond multiplier and it goes in and it fixes anything that's damaged. If your hair is blonde you want to use it one time a week but if it's like really damaged you'd want to use it two to three times per week. So what you do spray bottle your hair, put some of this on, clip it up and then clean your house, do your dishes, you know. I like to leave it on for like an hour, maybe 30 minutes at like a minimum. This tells you as long as you leave it on for a minimum of 10, but preferably longer. I am I mean, if your hair was really damaged, I'm sure you could sleep in it um, and wake up with feeling like you had new hair. So you're gonna do that first before you get in the shower. And then another tip is if you have blonde hair, you only want to wash it once a week. You know, with COVID and everything going on, if you're washing your hands all the time, our hands are like dry and cracked and they're like desperate need of lotion, right? So blonde hair kind of is the same too. It doesn't get oily that quick anymore. So it's dry and it needs a lot of moisture constantly put in. So if you're washing it all the time, you're really going to dry it out and it's just going to be like cracking off. So try your best just to wash it once a week. With washing it once a week, it's going to help with the natural oils from your scalp. Those are like the best hair mask and hair oil that you can get. Your natural oils will travel down the shaft of your hair and just add such shine and moisture that these products just naturally can't do. So that's why I love washing my hair once a week. If you are, you know, a fitness person, you like are just a clean freak and you absolutely have to wash it, I wouldn't recommend any more than two times per week. I used to do CrossFit and I sweat and I was like dripping sweat. What I did to save my blonde hair is I went home and I would blow dry the sweat and then do um, some dry shampoo into it. I know it's gross, but hey, I was gonna save my hair. Next, when you do get in the shower, you wanna make sure that you're using really good, high quality products and everything is super hydrating. Again, blonde hair is you know, naturally dry because we've lightened it and you've taken pretty much everything out of it. So you wanna go back in and constantly keep it hydrated. So what I like to use and what's my favorite is the Pai Shao uh, Hydrating Ritual Hair Cleanser. So I love this shampoo. It is so, so good. It smells amazing. It's all like black teas and it kinda of has like a musk smell to it. I just love this. And um, so I'll shampoo with this first. And then I always, because I'm shampooing my hair once a week, I always do two shampoos. So if I kind of like the tone of my hair, I will do two of the hydrating shampoos. But if I feel that I need to kind of use a purple shampoo, I will do one shampoo of the hydrating. And then I always do one shampoo of the Blacklight Oligo Violet Shampoo, the anti-yellow. 
So I do this first and this second because I don't want to put my toning shampoo first and then wash it out with this. You always want to do this one first and then this one second. Two shampoos consecutively back to back, especially if you're only washing once a week. Just real, Two shampoos just really help to get that um, the dirt and the grime and everything out of your hair. So after your shampoo, you are going to do a intense mask, hydrating mask. This one is also from Pai Shao. It's the Supreme Revitalizing Mask. Um, again, I just love Pai Shao. I love the smell of all of their products. I could like, if they hit lotion, I would put it all over. So this mask is um, kind of already portioned out for you. They give you like this little spoon. And what you do is you just take like a scoop of it and that's what you're gonna use on your hair. If you are platinum like me to the scalp, you are going to mask your hair roots to ends. If you are kind of like a highlight or a baby light, you wanna go like mids to ends and stay off the root because you don't want your root to be too greasy. So after you do your mask, which you wanna leave on for 10 minutes, so like shave your legs, and then you're gonna rinse out your mask, and then you always want to seal your mask with the conditioner. So I again like to use the Pai Shao uh, Hydrating Ritual Conditioner, and then you just seal this, rinse that out. When you get out of the shower, now you have another routine. <laughs> so you're gonna get out of the shower and you're going to spray in some leave-in conditioner. Again, I like the Pai Shao. This is their something to believe in. This is so good. Again, it smells like all of their products. And then you're gonna put some Moroccan oil in your hair. And I recommend using the light and the light is meant for blondes. Some people think it's lightweight, but it's not lightweight. It's just light in color and it's for blondes so it doesn't stain the hair. So you're gonna put probably like anywhere from like a nickel to a quarter amount in your hand and just kind of, you know, rub it in and then go, I start at the top and go all the way to the ends because I am a full on platinum. But if you are highlight, you're gonna wanna just go mids to ends. And then if your hair is still kind of yellow and you still want it like that super super icy look i also recommend using the schwartz off blonde me instant blush spray and this is in the color ice this is like toner in a bottle so if you go to the salon and you get your hair toned you know that you leave like super icy super like you just love it and then a few washes later and it rinses out and yeah you can totally maintain it for the most part with purple shampoo but sometimes purple shampoo just like doesn't quite do it this will do it so i always spray this when i get out of the shower you kind of want to stay six inches away spray it all over and then brush everything through the moroccan the leave-in and this if you don't feel you need this then you don't have to use this every time i would recommend not using it too too often because too many purple shampoos and too many purple um products can dull the blonde and make it look kind of like dingy and you get like a purple shampoo purple toner build up and you don't want that either you just kind of want to keep that um yellow and that warmth at bay last but not least i recommend always using a wet brush so this is my wet brush and when you get out of the shower, after you put in all your products, you're just gonna kind of gently start from the bottom. If you have to grab your hair like this, start from the bottom and like gently work your way up. Blonde hair is at its most fragile state when it's wet. So it's almost like a, a spaghetti. If you pull it hard enough, it will, you know, rip. Using a wet brush, detangling brush so it doesn't pull. You never wanna start up here and just rip through it because you will rip your hair. Another couple of tips as far as being blonde is checking to see if you have hard water you know a lot of us have some kind of mineral or some kind of something in our water and one good way to check is check your shower or your um, bathtub your toilet your sinks if you have any kind of buildup in there then you would know that that's also building up on your hair and minerals play like a huge huge roll in blonde hair. The minerals are building up so much, our hair can be like green, it can be really tangly, really dry. I mean, it happens on virgin hair all the way to blonde hair and anything in between, but more so with blonde hair because it's so porous and it's so susceptible to things latching onto it because the cuticle is open. So what you can do to keep the mineral at bay is you can get a Malibu shampoo and conditioner. I believe they sell it on Amazon. 
or you can go to your local salon and ask to get an actual Malibu in the salon. And what that is, is it's a crystal packet. It's all vegan, all natural, and we mix it with uh, purified water and we'll clarify your hair a couple times, put this treatment on your head, put you under heat for about 45 minutes while it breaks down all the mineral buildup, and then we bring you back to the sink and squeegee it off. And usually it's always a weird color that comes out. Usually it's like, like that ugly sea green or turquoise, pink, gray, coppery looking, you know, because all these minerals are built up in the hair. And you wouldn't believe the results after you get all of that mineral buildup out. The hair is shiny, you can actually get through it, it's not tangly, it's not all of these terrible things that the minerals do to our hair. One more thing for my blondes, you wanna make sure that you are glossing your hair, glossing, toning, glazing, all the same. You wanna make sure that you're doing that every four to six weeks to put the tone back into it and put the shine and condition. You know, these glosses have a lot of fats and lipids which are crucial to our hair. They just go in and fill in the holes in our hair. If you were to zoom in on a strand of blonde hair, it's got a jagged edge that sticks out, almost like a Christmas tree, right? All these edges stick out. Well, what the gloss does, it has these fats and lipids that just go into those holes, into those lifted up areas, and it fills it in, making it feel really smooth and soft. Doing these glosses every four to six weeks is super important for your blonde hair. So I would recommend doing that. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below and please like and subscribe.